Welcome to this tutorial on the new drag and drop feature for creating dashboards in Home Assistant. I will guide you step by step on how to utilize this exciting new functionality. Here are some key points to know about the drag and drop feature when creating a dashboard in Home Assistant. Currently, this feature is experimental and there is no migration process available to reuse your current dashboard. This applies only to new dashboards. Additionally, you need to have version from March 2024 or higher for this feature to be available. To use the new drag and drop feature, we need to create a new dashboard. Select settings from the menu and then choose the dashboard submenu. The list of current dashboards will appear. Click on a dashboard button to create a new one and give it a name. By editing the new dashboard, you need to select the option section experimental from the drop-down menu when clicking on the pen icon beside the tab named Home. Now you will see the Uname section appear, allowing you to add section in any device. For this demonstration, first, we will add an alarm panel. We will create a new section. From this new section, we will add a thermostat device. We will create a new section. We will add a weather forecast card. We will create a new section. We will now add a few lights devices to the new section. Now that two lights are added to the dashboard, we will create another section and add an entity card for time. As always, you can specify your preferred options to customize as you wish. We will add another card with information about date and time. Now that we have multiple entities, we can start changing the layout of the dashboard using the new drag and drop feature. You can click and hold your mouse left button on the time entity and drag it into the section above it and release the left mouse button. The time entity will now be moved to the new section and adjust the layout of the dashboard. You can do the same with the weather card by dragging it into the section in the middle of the screen. Now, the weather card has been moved to the section containing the thermostat. We can also move the date and time card into the section in the middle of the dashboard. Another new functionality is to copy an entity into a different section. For example, click on the menu at the top right of the date and time card. Select the copy option and then in the new section, click on the plus sign and select paste from clipboard. The date and time entity is now copied and available in the new section. It is also possible to delete an entity by selecting the delete option from the menu. It is possible to move a section by clicking and holding the left mouse button on the four arrow direction icon and releasing the mouse button when you drag the section to where you want it. You can also name a section by clicking on the pen icon within the section and entering the desired name. You can move the date and time entity into the light section. Now that all adjustments are completed, you can click on the Done button to save all modifications. You will now see your final dashboard layout. Your dashboard is ready to use. This tutorial is now complete. You can now use or create a new dashboard.